Anyway, yeah. your shows. Oh yeah, Tell yeah, us. yeah. No, so I saw um, Conan on Wednesday. Conan O'Brien. Okay. It was Conan and Friends. It was uh, at Chicago Theater. She's fucking massive for anybody listening. It's like three balconies, long ass fucking walk, in the middle of downtown, and it was Conan was fucking great. Um, but he had a bunch of people opening, like, in between, like... Like comics or something? Or? Yeah, yeah. He had a bunch of, like, f- I don't know if they were friends or just people that he picked. Well, I'd hope they were friends, because it's called yeah. Conan and Friends. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I, I guess comics like to lie. Yeah, constantly. I think I liked... <laughs> <laughs> I think I liked one of them out of all of them. Uh, it was a local... Uh, gay, John Mulaney. It was a local gay dude from the South Side. His name was like Hunches or Bunches or something. I don't know. Mm. Anyways, he was the be- I mean, there was like, uh, I went with Kelly and there was, do you guys know who Flu Laborg is? No. Mm-mm. That sounds made up. It sounds like you're just making yeah. names up now. Yeah, sure. dude, she, oh, I lie, you know. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> no, she, no, dude, she, I guess she was nuts about him before he got famous. Like, he, dude, it's, talk about like hacky. Oh, about wait, is he for- German? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't even I think he's German. I, I think he 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 wears like flamboyant ass clothes, like yeah. high socks, That's tight shorts. So funny. I was just watching a video that he did today. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just watching it. He was he was doing a reaction video to his first interview on Conan, and uh, I was thinking, I was like, is this a character? It has to be, right? Yeah. Like part of it, because he like seems very like overly German, like comical German. Yeah. You know? But uh, I c- I've never seen him outside of character, if anything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, curious. yeah, his set was like, okay, guys, now I'm going to drop the bass on your asses, as they say in this country. Yeah. And then he like went on a Korg and just like, yes, drop it the bass, drop it the bass. <laughs> I was curious if he did stand up. So is it, is it, does it, was it wasn't good? You don't think? I, I mean, I don't, I, I'm really a picky it. bitch and <laughs> it didn't make me laugh like at all out loud. I mean, it's rare that I do, but. Like Tom Segura makes me laugh out loud, or like Jeff Ross, I love, but Jeff and Ross, yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of goofy. And then the rest of the ones, like the the rest, weirdly, they all did uh, PDF slideshows, like like, like a PowerPoint. Yeah, or? yeah, like a PowerPoint. Like uh, like w- there's an English guy called like uh, Ian Vate or something, and he he was ta- he was just showing about an email. That where he was trying to sell a flux capacitor on a Craigslist, uh huh, and he kept making up emails for like so say like Bill Schmidt, mm-hmm. and he's trying to sell it to this. I'm trying to sell it to this Bill Schmidt guy, and I email him. This is true. This works, and he's like, No, it doesn't. This is bullshit. So then I made an email, future Bill Schmidt at <laughs> Gmail. <laughs> and he, I'm telling you, you should buy this. This works. And I don't know, it just seemed really fucking stupid. You I, know? Th- I think that's funny. I, but I, I mean, that, that's, that just seemed like something I would do in like, gra- I, I did do shit like that in grammar school. I don't sure. know. <clears throat> but I, I think he made up the story, but I actually did it as an asshole. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so Filthy Philip was not impressed. No, I, I remember when AIM... AOL and yeah. Messenger I was around. AIM, right? Do, do, do you guys remember AIM clone? No. no. What's AIM clone? Wait, that sounds familiar. What was AIM clone? It was, it was like a hack so you can be on several uh, accounts oh, at the God. same time. The super nerds were doing that. <laughs> super nerds. Super like, nerd. I'm a regular nerd. And then those are the nerds that we beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got beat up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> By the nerds. <laughs> no, but... No, I, 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 I think I, 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 do you guys? Re- okay, so before I embarrass myself, what was your guys' uh, s- names, screen names? Sexy oh. Billy twenty one twelve. Wait, what was this? Sexy Billy twenty one twelve. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my god, you're lying. <laughs> so was mine. That was. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, that's really funny. Mine was Dark Spider Man God. Because Dark Spider Man was already taken. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I really wanted. <laughs> so I put God at the end, and that's what it was. My, mine was Freak with a PH, like Phil, 6669, because 666 was taken. <laughs> 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 this is like fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we did as rough as fifth or sixth grade. And, uh, and then, and then um, so, so what I did was uh, everybody, I mean, I don't know. I guess fifth grade in the '90s, everybody was trying to get some feeling on some tits. Oh yeah. So, so I made another name that was called Hot Princess Eight Eight Eight. Nice. And I'd I'd like message my you were friends. My girlfriend. 
<laughs> you told me you were what? a woman. I got catfished. I got catfished. Those are the best six years of my life. <laughs> so so I talked to these guys like, yeah. Yeah, the funniest a- away messages. <laughs> <laughs> Your profile, that was all a lie? Uh, but yeah, he, he, uh, I would message these like friends of mine and be like, yeah, meet me at the park and I'll show you my boobs or something. And then like I get all my friends go there and we just throw the mud at the person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, so that's why I grew up to be an asshole. You know? uh, so what my friends and I did, and I don't know, this might, I'm probably going to sound super fucked up. Um, and this is like some deviant shit. So, uh, Oh, you just wait. We've got some more topics. <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, what my friends and I would do, we'd make fake account names. So, uh, they'd be like Cali Girl, uh, Cali Girl ninety eight, you know, or like mm. really. She you sounds know. hot. Yeah, right, doesn't she? Yeah. So then we go into <laughs> chat rooms. <laughs> that and was my second girlfriend. <laughs> <Cali>. <laughs> yeah. So then we'd get these guys and be like, "Hey, you want a cyber?" And we'd say, oh. "Yeah, sure." ASL. Oh, we're uh, seventeen female Long Beach, or you know, hello, whatever. my name's Chris Hansen. <laughs> 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 so kind of. Wait, what are you doing? Here? So. <laughs> So we'd be cybering, and um, we would take it like really in like a really graphically violent direction. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Man. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like there was one scenario, like a schoolgirl sort of thing, and he's like, "Yeah, I take out my my hard dick." And it's like, "Oh, <laughs> we, we put it in the pencil sharpener." <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Ouch! Why would you do that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what my friends and I would do. Peel it like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> We'd also ask um, really, really vulgar questions to Yahoo Answers. Yeah. Like uh, when I'm uh, jerking my dog off, how can I tell if he's enjoying it? Oh, my God. <laughs> People would get really <laughs> upset. About I, think, I think I would do that, too, with the Hot Princess one. Where <laughs> like, Do you guys remember Rotten.com? No. Or, or it, was, it was like Faces of Death. Oh yeah. God! So yeah. so so they so they would eventually be like, "Yo, send me a pic," and I would send like a picture on there. So it would be like a war <laughs> photo of like a fetus that was set on fire. Oh <laughs> my God. God. They had some bad stuff on the internet before it was regulated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a little yeah. bit at least, like now. But back then, it was like the wild, wild west. No one was looking out for pedophiles. I know. I'm I, pretty sure all I talked to was pedophiles on the internet. <laughs> I'm sure they were just targeting me. It was fine. I remember talking to this person. And my <coughs> aunt was there, and I was like, the the person she she said she was like twelve, and I was twelve, and then for no reason she was like, "Are you circumcised?" <laughs> and then I was like, I, asked, I, I looked at my aunt, and I was like, "What does circumcised mean?" And she's like, she just turns off the computer. She's like, "Nope, uh, go to your room. <laughs> go, to, go go do something else. Yeah, now. Grab a Bible You're and not pray." Talking to this person anymore? <laughs> yeah, no one was looking out for that back in the day. It was crazy. And then yeah, pictures back and forth. I remember steakandcheese.com. What is that? It was like the site that my buddy showed me that had like the most fucked up videos you ever seen. There was this one called Guinea Pig like Exodus. And basically it's just this weird like they do bits about a guinea pig that are shitty, but at the end they jump on it. And so I was like, oh, I watched man. the whole video and they killed a guinea pig and I was like, What the fuck is this? Yeah. It was like it exploded. It was bananas, and I was like, "Well, I'm never going on this again." And then there was this video called "Penis Won't Stop Bleeding," and we could not. <laughs> we to this day we're still curious. Like we couldn't bring ourselves to watch it. It just said, uh, "Penis won't stop bleeding," and we were like, "No, we can't. We're 14." <laughs> oh <laughs> man! So you know the the internet trifecta: lemon party. Oh god! And blue waffle. Uh, Is it, oh yeah. Do you count blue waffles? Oh yeah. That? Uh, I didn't, but that's a good addition. Uh, tub girl i don't know what tub girl is oh man that sounds harmless look it up uh nope. to all of our listeners out there look it up if you're <laughs> over 18 do did you direct these <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, Based my on a true story but right. Bill. <laughs> my big hollywood you, debut your demeanor and the way you're dressed like you're you're <laughs> i highly recommend these uh, check it out right also yeah. two girls one cup that Ooh, was a big you one. know yeah, i yeah, never watched it i watched it and it was awful it was awful <laughs> it was so bad and then i did a review with and? my buddy. That was also bad. <laughs> <laughs> but but it got stellar reviews. Uh, we were yeah. It was gross. Don't don't watch those videos. There's no point. Dude, when you when you said that not not stop bleeding dick, that just reminded oh like <laughs> like I think it's so funny when when when, when any, that's something else. This is 
Dick won't stop bleeding. Oh, yeah. Dick! Non-stop stop bleeding. Dick is <laughs> way, yeah. way brighter. Like yeah. Punk band for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but they, like I think it's funny whenever you talk about that shit. Like, as a dude, you definitely feel like, oh fuck, that you could feel the hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> because yeah. I was listening to uh, I listened to this true crime serial killer podcast, and they were talking about this guy called the Candyman, who I guess he owned Cabrini a Brittany Green. Or is it a different Candyman? No, no, it's a different. It's like the actual like serial killer Candyman. Okay, and, and he owned a. He he was pretty much John Wayne Gacy, but he just lured kids in because he'd be like, "Oh, you can hang out at my factory and eat as much as you want, just as long as I can bring you to this room and tie you to a fucking cross and do whatever I want with you." Jesus, and, sure. And, and fucking, kids were all about that, dude. He was talking about how you know those you know those lollipops that are like a cylinder and they're a swirl, like the like the really big colorful ones yeah but sometimes they're like pencil thin because he said he would stick that in a kid's stick and then break it and it shatter and i'm like oh my fucking god <laughs> like i i had to switch to i had to switch to a different serial killer you know? jesus oh my like, god yeah it was it's it's fucked i don't know but the internet is fun yeah yeah it, it's I, I like to hear that stuff when i have a cunty boss which i'll get back to that subject later <laughs> but <laughs> Like, I'm going to put a piece of candy in his dick and crush it. <laughs> oh, no. no but <laughs> You're fucked up, dude.